And turning now to an Amber Alert that does remain active this morning, as today marks one year since Summer Wells disappeared from her Hawkins County home. News Channel 11 has been covering that case since law enforcement first began their search in the Beach Creek community one year ago today. And our coverage not slowing down at all. News Channel 11 will have continuing team coverage all day of what's unfolded since then, including new interviews. But first, before we recount the day, Ansley Daniel walks us through who's who in the Summer Wells case. No one has been charged in the disappearance of the now six-year-old little girl. There haven't been any leads and no tangible evidence on her whereabouts. But there are several people involved in Summer's life and now this case that you should know about. First, we have Summer's parents, Don Wells and Candace Bly. Together, they have three boys and Summer. Currently, Don is in jail for violating his probation, stemming from a DUI charge. He's been on camera the most, but on the other hand, his wife hasn't been on camera much. Just once with us and with Dr. Phil and a few times on YouTube. Last July, Child Protective Services removed Summer's older brothers from their home. According to Candace and law enforcement, they were the last to see the little girl. Their grandmother, Candace's mother, was also one of the last to see Summer, spending the entire day with her. This is Rose Bly. She's Summer's aunt and hasn't been seen since 2009 when she went missing from St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin. The Wells are Seventh-day Adventist and they attended a church in Kingsport. Outside of her family, Summer is best known by church members, her Sunday school teacher Robin Lane and family friend David Dotson. After Summer had been missing for several weeks, prayer circles were organized by community members like Timmy Etherton and some of them were even attended by her family. Also helping the family, a private investigator, Chris Colball with CNC Investigations. Along with that, there's also a media manager. His name is Tim Mullen. Both are local. These people, along with the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office, the TBI and the FBI, and hundreds of searchers, all have the most vested interest in finding Summer. Here's the area of Hawkins County from where Summer went missing from. You'll notice that there is one main road that runs through the length of the entire county. There's also a river that does the same. And if it wasn't through the woods, it was through these main roads from where she went missing that connects Beach Creek to anywhere. So how does a child just disappear from an area like this? Well, most think not by accident. That was News Channel 11's Ansley Daniel with photojournalist Chad Bricks. Again, we will have continuing coverage all day as today marks one year since now six-year-old Summer Wells disappeared.